Hi, welcome back. This video is for Scorpio, the sign of Scorpio. This is for the months of March into April, and maybe some of these energies may go on even further than that. Along with your sun sign, check your moon and your rising sign um, for more clarity. If this didn't make doesn't make sense to you, check those other signs. You may find messages there. Along with this video, when I'm done here, I'm going to go do a love reading over at my Vimeo channel just for your sign for the month of March and going into April. This reading is more maybe, hopefully, I don't know. Um, so far, love is wanting to talk for a lot of people. But we're talking about Scorpio, your life in general. Now, first, what I'm going to do with this deck, all of the energy has been shuffled into the cards. I want to cut this deck into two. I'm going to take one deck for you and one deck. Well, they're actually both decks for you. The focus energy for some of you, though, is the Hermit. And the Four of Swords. This can talk about, actually, to me, this can talk about maybe a delay. A delay in travel plans. Maybe you're trying to establish some sort of travel during this period of time. Spear, uh, but the, the, the Hermit here is saying there may be delays with that... Uh, travel plan especially next to the four of swords now this can be saying also that um you may be looking for uh, the right place to take a break a lot of people also looking to do that one two three four five six seven eight and on the other side eight down There we go. All right. So, maybe you're needing to take a break from being in your own head so much. Oh, my God. Spirit just said amen to that. So, Scorpio, are you spending too much time in your head? Way too much time reflecting. Because this is deep reflecting on top of deep reflecting which is exactly what we've got here. Let's take a look at the first position. First position asks the question, who are you at this time? Maybe what are uh, your priorities? Well, interesting. In the category of <laughs> who you are right now, we have the Queen of Cups. And we also have the Five of Wands. She's emotional. She can be often overly emotional. Incredibly psychic. And for some of you, I think we may be getting to something there. Because as a Scorpio, this is your natural sign. This is representing you. Your, maybe your emotional state right now, but there's conflict around it. And I really think that that's going to resonate for a number of you. Um, and I almost feel here with these two cards as your focus of this uh, emphasis, this really heavy emphasis on just... restraining yourself almost restraining yourself feeling like you've been too emotionally tied up in something and maybe it's time now to break free of that there's a conflict there's a conflict for someone you're either you're feeling you're too much like i i heard it again i just heard it again too much in your head spending too much time in a situation of emotional conflict. 
these two cards together for me speak to maybe being in competition. Are you, say, are you dating someone? And you know that other person is also dating someone else. Are you having some conflict with that? Is it turning into a situation where you don't want to be anymore? I think you're pulling back from the situation. If this is you and you're in a situation where someone else is openly um, preoccupied with someone else or maybe your conflict is you're kind of bouncing between situations here. It's a strange message coming out of here because none of that is here. But some of you are struggling with a, I, I almost feel a very open kind of relationship where whoever it is that you're married to or dating or seeing or living with, they are also openly seeing someone else. You're having a really hard time with that. The next position. Who were you to the relationship in the past? Now, here's where your intuition comes in, like really strong right here. Because the high priestess is that divine sense of all knowing. It's knowing things happen even before they happen. So this is an energy that's really tuned in. And in the past, maybe you had been. Again, I feel that a lot of this struggle you're going through is very much attached to your instincts, your intuition. It's as if that person who you're with, maybe they have not, maybe they haven't confessed to being with someone else, but you know it. Maybe you're up late night waiting for them to come home. And they walk in the door. They're supposed to be home at 6 and they got home at 2 in the morning. Oh, I had to work late. I didn't hear my phone ring. Blah, blah, blah. Excuses, excuses, excuses. So in the past, I think this is a situation now that's telling me that this is an ongoing situation for someone. This person who knows, who knew what was going on in the past, it's time to reconnect with that intuition. Because right now, this is really saying what you were in struggle with with, the, with a partner in the past is now currently a reoccurrence of a situation. I don't think that you're struggling with it as badly this time around as you did the last time. I'm hearing very much the last time was a real struggle. But you're facing the situation again with a partner. And I think, honestly, for the most part, you're really dealing with it much better this time because you know what to expect now. You know what this person is capable of. This is for committed people, I think. I think this reading is very much about being in a committed situation. And with the Queen of Cups here, yes, it represents you, but the High Priest just is really strong saying there was something in your past that you were in a struggle with, you're going to be struggling in the present time with it too. And it doesn't have to be about love, but I feel very much it may be. It doesn't have to be because I still don't have love in my hands. Now, what are you expecting from the relationship? The Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords. So, you're beat up. You're beat up. I think both people in this situation have really gone through hell. 
um, emotional hell. And uh, you're both kind of licking your wounds right now. Um, the Five of Swords says we're walking away, maybe with situations yet unclear, unanswered, conflicts still haunting us in the situation. Maybe both people have really been beat up by the situation. And your expectations may be that the fight may end up continuing. You may have to struggle just a little bit more to get to the next stage. Because I think you're trying to heal through this process. The Hermit, he searches for healing. This card, the Four of Swords, is all about healing through rest and reflection. And so I think even though you've been beaten up by a situation in the past, you're really feeling a sense of surrender. This feeling that you don't want to look at the struggle anymore. You really don't. The struggle is not an attractive thing anymore. The fight is over. Maybe you don't have any fight left in you. But you're expecting that you may have to fight on for just a little while longer. Now, we ask you, what is it that you need right now, Scorpio? Well, we have the Knight of Cups. And we have the Page of Swords. So what you need right now, let me put these here so you can see them. What you need right now, maybe... Especially with the, the Knight of Swords. Maybe you're looking for new love. Something different. Something that looks unlike anything you've experienced before. You're looking for a new experience. Um, communication. This can talk about maybe someone you've already met. Maybe what you're needing is open communication with someone that you've recently gotten involved with. The Page of Swords can be kind of immature uh, communication. It may be a little bit hasty. Uh, again, the word immature comes to me, which can talk to somebody who doesn't know how to communicate who really is at the very innocent stages of opening up, and maybe they have a difficult time with it. Because I feel that someone, for some of you, may be the one you want to be with, uh, but they have a hard time expressing themselves, and you're really needing that energy to open up be more honest about what they want. But you may notice that this person may have a hard time expressing what it is that they want or what it is that they need in the process of developing this relationship. So I feel very much that maybe what you're looking for here, it could be connected to this ex-partner. Now, if this isn't wanting someone new to come in to replace an old relationship that just didn't work, what you're looking for is a new way of communicating with this person from the past. And that's why I almost feel like you know what to expect with a person or a situation from the past that maybe there was some struggle with. Maybe there were some really intense moments with this person where you didn't see things on an even level. You were kind of not seeing eye to eye on some stuff. It may have been something that kept reoccurring in the relationship. Maybe you're looking for a new way of communicating with this person if you're still looking 
to remain connected to this person, which is a possibility here. Now, your support system. The Knight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So Scorpio, your support system may be another person who comes through. Maybe kind of with this, this same sort of immature energy, maybe an inability to communicate on a verbal level. But they seem to be very open with their generosity. So you may have someone in your surroundings who feels like they're there as a support person. They are, um, it feels very much financially on a, on, a, on a level of financial support. I think the support is there. If this is a spouse, I think their support on a financial level is there. I think it, could possibly be better, but it feels even. Where we have problems with this person, this support person, is their inability to clearly communicate, to com clearly say what it is that they want. And they feel sometimes that they can be maybe hurtful in their words. I don't know if it's to be purposeful. I almost feel that this person has a very uneducated verbal potential. Ah, okay. I really don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I feel very much you may be dealing with someone Maybe yet you want to kick the shit out of their mother because their mother should have taught them how to speak to a woman because I very suddenly feel this hostility towards somebody and honestly, they don't communicate because, because maybe they never knew. Maybe it was part of their upbringing. Maybe it was part of this kind of very slow, kind of almost backwoods type of an upbringing. Sorry, whoever that was for. But there's a very slow kind of thought process. And somebody who, when you talk to them, they really don't know what to say. So there's a real lack of communication. But when it comes to financial stability, I think this person is actually help. I feel very much a frustration around this person's inability to communicate what it is that they want. But let's look on. <clears throat> we ask, what is an inspiration in your life right now, Scorpio? Well, see, we've got the Two of Cups and we've got the world. So, for some of you, it's knowing that a cycle is completing with someone that you love or someone that you once loved. If you're walking away from a relationship, you're actually looking forward to the day when the cycle is complete. When these two people, because in this card, I always look at these two people as saying goodbye. And so when these two people finally do complete the cycle, there's, there's a real sense of freedom, not just for one person, but for both people. Um, it's also possible that you still want to remain in this relationship, even though this person kind of has a very uh, unsophisticated way of expressing themselves. Um, Stability-wise, they have real, there's real potential for growth in the situation. I don't know where that message is coming from, but it, it's there. It's there for whoever 
recognizes this. Now, we want to look at difficulties, hardships, problems. If there are any negatives in your way, this will say so. No, <laughs> actually, there aren't any. I think you are with a partner who just doesn't know how to open up. But you're teaching them how to open up the Ten of Cups. And like I said, I think on a stability, a, a level of stability, this person, the Ace of Pentacles, they're a very strong provider. And they make you incredibly happy. But there is an obstacle in the way, and it is the way this person communicates, or it's the lack of communication within the situation. I think you've had this issue with this person or with other people in your life before. So you know how to deal with that kind of a personality. But I don't see hardships coming your way with this situation. It feels very strong uh, on, a, on an emotional level. Let's see what the outcome says. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to get past this person's lack of communication. And I almost want to say that this person totally opens up the Nine of Cups and the Four of Wands. Reasons to celebrate happiness and abundance in the home. Some pretty serious abundance, actually. I think this person, whether this person is an actual partner or someone you're looking at or even a new career path where there have been struggles, and maybe you were dealing with a employer who just did not have the ability to communicate properly. I would say you're progressing forward because you're greatly influenced by this partnership. And completing the cycle with this person, for me, feels like it's very emotional. So whether it's completing this emotional cycle in your professional life or going through the cycles with a love interest, the outcome is potentially strong, very happy. And I wouldn't have said that back here. So even though you've gone through your paces in a relationship, even though you've met your struggles, you've re maybe repeated some of these things over and over again with a partner. But it feels like it's coming in very strong, especially going into the end of March and facing April. That's where I really feel for some of you the positive energy really kicks in closer to the end of this period. But it doesn't matter. Time is malleable. So you may be actually facing these kind of feelings right now. Now, I just completely forgot what it was that I read. So sorry, guys. I'm, I'm having a total... Um, intuitive amnesia today. I'm looking at this going, what did I just say? So, okay. Anyway, I have lost it, but you have it. Enjoy it. And if you want to take a look at a continuation, if this was love, I'm going to try to pick up on this over at my Vimeo channel. I'll leave the link down below. Check it out if you want to. Um, if you want a reading meant just for you, please go to my Weebly website, go to the contact form after you've picked a reading. It's very simple pricing over there, half hour, an hour. Um, tell me what you want. I'll get back to you with the invoicing and we'll get that process going. And it usually only takes a few days to wrap it up 100%. So, 
Um, as of right now, I've got some openings in my schedule. And, uh, well, when I'm not doing my regular work. But, um, until the next time, guys. I think that's about all I have from this message. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And peace.